Hello, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Charmin's Vlogs uh, Cook Vlog. And today, my mom is gonna make egg bidan. She already got some spinach and she cut it in. And she's just cutting some onions. And she's gonna put it in here. And Uh, one whole onion in the um, in the thingy and the uh, we're gonna eggs Just egg be done so while my mom is doing that uh, this is another uh, murukenda fresh garden and that there. there these are eggs free range eggs there. And we put coriander with this, and I got uh, you know just eat coriander it's from the shop anywhere. And yeah. we're going to put it in with egg bidan. So as you can see, my mom is putting shoy in the in for the hudu. And she's just bringing that little shun. This is our moshla doya. Yes, I know it's a bit messy, but then there's nothing wrong. Moshla doya and there. So we keep all the moshlas. So in this, we put shori shatel. So we just wait for it to heat up. Then she's going to put some onions. Kudu kari hai tay, kudu bala lage, onik mazal lage, pate shate hai tay.
So after we wait, put salt in. And now we're just gonna wait for the onions to slowly cook down and stick. Before adding the water. So while we wait for my mum's um, uh, fancy store, yeah, I mean, I don't know, and um, uh, I'm going to uh, break the eggs and put it on a plate. For my egg bidan. And these are fresh mulvain data. So if anyone wants some if so if anyone wants some chicken eggs, um please let us know. Um we'll be happy to give you some. There's nothing better than a good free range eggs. Look at these beautiful jewels. This is just look absolutely beautiful. Mashallah. And you know these eggshells? We don't throw them away in a dustbin. We use it for our plants. And if you put eggshells on up on your on your plants, it will stop from slugs, any snails, or anything coming to eat your plants. Beautiful eggs, so I'm going to show you the eggs. Look at these beautiful, gorgeous yellow eggs, the free range eggs, and in here with this, I'm just going to put it in all in one. So now this is the eggs. So here you go. And now I'm going to put Adarushun. So I'm just grab my Adarushun tub. So I just get with my fork or spoon and just put. Get that much of that lotion in the egg never done. A good tablespoon, that's how much. Salt for taste. And I'm going to put casamoris with it. So I'm going to put more eggs so it doesn't look like enough for me. Um, so I'm just going to get more eggs. So this is my uh, the hudu for when, while I, my mum gets the eggs for me. The rest is not enough. Just a couple more will do and it's fine. Um, so this is the hudu. Yeah. So you can grab this beautiful. 
beautifulness. That glorious, look at that, how glorious that is. It's just absolutely beautiful. Okay. So while with that, while that still cooks, we're gonna put the mushroom in. So and the mushroom and then remove. We're just going to put a little bit of olive oil powder. That's it. Because in Hudu salon, we don't put chili powder. And then, this is, the Hudu is sweet. And in the salon, you don't like. So this is mixed powder and olive oil powder, you see. But if you want, you can put a bit of uh, uh, paprika, which is sour, to a spicy, a little bit high down, a little bit spicy. Then be my guest, put a bit of chili powder in. Kunusha that night. But and the chili powder then I can and the hudu salon in the modo chili powder not in Because the hudu is the main ingredient that makes everything good and tasty. And we can put the fish later on. So we put the mosha in, we can let the mosha to eat the whole year. The mosha to eat the donna. Oila ma. This is my mum, you know, breaking the eggs. She doesn't like to be on camera, so she doesn't like to be on camera. So this is my mum, she just breaks an egg. She just thought it was so clever, but I didn't think it was so clever, I don't know. Okay. Don't about it. So this is all the eggs. So I'm glad my mum broke the eggs for me. Thank you, mummy. I don't know. I'm just going to put it into the rest of the eggs, please. Fantastic. So this is, you know, we put the water. Okay. This is what your kudu salon should be looking like. It looks a bit lal, but it's not lal. It's nice and pale or yellow, yellow and orangey. So it should be no reds. Now it sounds very weird when you say why she not put chili powder. Chili powder de le is is you know you won't get the taste of the hudu and it's gonna be spicy. But if you can put a little bit of of chili powder, okay. And now the butt, which is in the butt. So I'm out on butt on my Okay. She's just running away. So I'm just mixing up the kudu. Hold on. Okay. So while we're that, I'm just going to cover it up. So here's my mum. Uh, so this is my mum break the eggs for me. Thank you. That will be perfect now. Now, I'm going to put chili in there. Has always do hot here, and the garden has always do set. Okay. And I've no. If you do this like this, if you, you know, do exactly what I'm doing, you will love your food. And if you want to learn anything, like what you, you know, of, or in your cooking. So if you want to learn anything, like what you put in your curries and how you do it, or. If you want to know anything, um, just anything, garden or cooking or anything, or if you want anything, like seeds or BC, uh, please let me know um, because I'll be I'll be happy to help. Any advice, always ask for Charmin advice. 
and my mum is the most ex uh, expert in so she'll be happy to give you any guys advice if you need so I'm just gonna grab chilies okay so this is my garden chilies I already put these and put in a bowl and these are garden tomatoes with it too a few red tomatoes mm. so I'm just gonna grab uh, chilies customers under the room so. those who like spicy um, spices uh, if you want to want spicy um, you know that's, that's even better so. So what I'm going to do now, so this is the fish, you can put in our the salon, and it's called butter fillets, it's absolutely delicious, it's heaven, it's just like heaven on a plate, steam it, curry, roast it, or just put on a barbecue, it's absolutely delicious, it's simple, it's healthy, it's good for you. So what I'm doing, is that I'm going to just going to, Break, uh, break the chilies out for me. Hang on. Excuse me. Let's go and grab the chilies. So, as you can see, my mum put the hudu ready in. So, the moshla you use it on hudu and asasi, And then we're just going to cover it up. I'm going to let it cook. So as you can see, my mum likes chilli, so she's putting more chilli in. And a gas with Morris. Or next one, though, is here. And a gas with Morris. So, in the thing, in to the end, I'll be done. Beautiful. So, thank you, Mommy. Now, I'm just gonna just whisk it up, just mix it up. Beautiful, gorgeous, absolutely fabulous. Right, so now we're going to fry up the eggs next. So, one more thing we're going to pour a little bit of mixed powder to the dubai into the end of the end of the end of the a bit more if you like. That's it. Just mix up. So I did my end natural vlog we made so it's not you know probably like the, the best one we did so so this is just a normal vlog that's what what we do in a house okay this is our other room dabba so we just make we get fresh other room put in a tub and when we cook cook it and when we cook uh, curry we just get the you know under other room dabba bahi lai bahi under and they use for lai in the curry and about the delay so so just rather than you know wasting you know time. So if you got no time, you know. This is on the garden. You, this is a bahata. My garden. Fresh bahata. And so like I said, with this, this is uh you know if we you, so if you got no time, 
And so I've got no time to peel the ginger or garlic. Peel the ginger garlic, okay? And blend it in one big bowl and fill it up in a, in a jar like this. So, or a tub, or plastic tub, or anything. And just store it in the fridge or in the cold and it stays really good. Then it stays longer. So then you, when you feel in a rush to go somewhere and you got you know, say you got no time to peel ginger, just put you know, just just peel it up. Peel all that ginger and garlic the day before when you when you have time, when you're free. And then, you know, just blend it up bit of, with a bit of olive oil and there you go. Just perfect ginger garlic paste at the Russian paste did that. So like you know, like this is what we put in our curry. So, because my mum's in a rush, so this is why we paste it and we put it in our, you know, just put in the curries, just for quick. And then you just put onions and finished. That's it. How easy is that? It's just pips. It's absolutely easy. And this is my mum's uh, chicken and woody. Okay. So while we wait for the hodo cheese, um, after that we're going to put the fish in the hodo, okay? So while we wait for the hodo just to slightly ease down more, ease it down more, and the hodo to add more mass. And this is a, a, a recipe I will show you one day, inshallah. Tenga apple, soka apple, it is sota hoy. Ah, it under the show under high tech, kubi balo lagi. Sorry, it just fell off. Uh, you know, the jar opened. And in this jar, it's called sota. And it's just like a lovely, tasty asa. It's just absolutely delicious to eat. It's homemade. Um, if anyone wants the recipe, we'll show you how to make it. Okay. And if you like, it's very good for hot days or rainy days. One of these will just make you make your day. Just one of these bad boys will make your day. It's absolutely extraordinary delicious. And that's why my mum made it one big jar, you know, one big tub of these. Okay, and there was more, but you know, we love eating this stuff. There's more, we store it and it just stays longer. And the bottom, and I see, and if, the, if you make it, it's not going to store. The longer you leave it, the better. And when you feel a bit bored, or you have a sad day, or you have a tired day from work, take one of these bad boys and it will boost your energy. It's called the apple sota. So just remember, if anyone wants the recipe, just let me know. I'll make a video one day of it. Thank you. So as you can see, my mum's photo is easy it's worse it's still a bit raw but it's slowly easy and then slowly wilted down okay we're not gonna put the fish in now the fish you know will cook very quickly so we're not gonna put the fish in we're just gonna let the puddle bring release their flavor and bring their inner taste into the curry So I'm gonna let it cook a bit more and then we put in the fish. So today, so after them, the ones we put in the fish. So my mum's just putting the fish right now. It's called the basa fish.
and there we go so I want to just put the fish in so mum is just pouring the oil in the pan I'm gonna wait that go smoky hot and then we'll just let go and put in the eggs into the fry pan so now we're just gonna fry the eggs so the pan is nice and hot So now we're just gonna fry the eggs. Look at that. Oh, look at that bad boy. Ooh, mama mia, man. That looks good. Ooh, mommy knows how to do fried eggs. That's really good, Ronald. Oh, God. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Those bad boys will be tasting absolutely terrific. Oh, look at those. Mm -hmm. Oh, they look just absolutely fabulous. So while these bad boys fry up, let's see how the Kuduhai is doing. Oh, it's just going absolutely brilliant. Beautiful. Now she's just put in the coriander. Oh, look at that lovely oh, garden coriander. Mm -hmm. And basically, now we bought short bought coriander as well, but these are garden coriander, fresh from the garden. Okay, so while that cooks, and that's it, it's finished. Also, so just a little bit more boil and that's it. The hudu is going to be just um, fabulous. And those eggs are just fried. bad boys oh look at that Ooh, wow oh that one just got a bit a little bit because the heat's not reaching onto that one I wonder how all this will turn over. You can see this. Oh my days. Look at me. You can never resist these bad boys ever. This is the ultimate endobiranita. The ultimate finish. Kaite one gone balla for shatu ibo. Kubi shat. Kubi balo chestra for. But with a bit of fies, kasa fies, and a bit of uh, fuk moris. Oh, alhamdulillah. My tummy is going to be filled up with good food. And after these are cut, we put on a plate and you just repeat the same thing again. Just place more end of it and then let it fry until it's golden brown on each side. If it's still a bit yellow, that's okay, don't worry about it, then it'll be fully golden brown. The hudu. Oh, okay. 
look at that. Mashallah. Okay. And that is today from my vlogs. I hope you enjoyed it. And please like and subscribe my channel. Bala uh, la subscribe you. So the like the benefit. And thank you for watching. And good night. Thank you.